Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we freed Zelda from Turtle Rock. We have now saved all the Seven Maidens, and we are now ready to take on uh, Ganon in his uh, tower, which is not too far. It's just off to the left here. I'm going to kill one of these Lynels just so I can say that I did. It's the only place in the game that they appear, is right here. You know, interesting that the enemy was created and designed, and I'll just to only appear there, but... This is it. Um, Ganon's tower is right here, and all the seven maidens come together uh, to break the seal. And this is a uh, end game kind of territory. Uh, this tower takes a while. It's it's not as complicated as you would think. Uh, you would think for a final dungeon it would be a bit more mind bending than it really is. It actually about half of it is about as linear of a dungeon as you could ask for in this game. To be honest. I love those statues of Ganon holding the Triforce. Uh, there's a left staircase, a right one, and a middle one. Uh, we're going to start off with the left one because that is the most lucrative one. It's going to give us the map, the big key, and the dungeon item all in one. So, I'll just start off with the left. This room, we're just going to want to pound down those little creepy things. I still don't know what they're called. They're creepy things in my book. And push this block, and that will get us out of here. Um, I check all the pots like crazy in this room because I like to have full health when I can. Um, there, that room up above is a rupee room, so it's not necessary. Uh, I'm going to get it because I'm actually a bit concerned right now that I'm not going to hit 999 uh, by the end of the dungeon. I should, but... So this room is totally optional. Don't have to do it if you don't want to, but there are some rupees in here. Ugh, Stalfos. I really do not like Stalfos at all. The way they jump back and throw bones at you. And it's ridiculous. Alright, so we're up to 945 now. Again, I, it's a self-imposed rule of mine to finish the game with maxed out rupees. Um, it's just my thing. This always makes me nervous. The, because of that, these... I am not good at hookshotting across narrow, small little caverns. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just not good at it. I'm telling you right now. I have no way of getting across right now. None. We've got to reset the room. <laughs> Great. Oh, let's just go out, go back in. Let's try this again with a little less fail. That'd be great. Yeah, these make me nervous. I'm not good at it. At all. You can pretty much see where your next target is, but you've got to kind of be lined up just right with it. Don't get knocked off here, thank you. Um, I'm going to get rid of you. We're going to want to switch the blocks here so we can get through, but before we move on, we're going to want to go off to the right here because that is where the map is. Again, if you don't want it, then skip this room. It's not that tricky to navigate to collect the map. Um, I'll show it to you once we get out of here. I, those fire bars are making me a little nervous. <clears throat> and to get out of this room, we're going to want to bomb the switch and get on the other side so that we will have the orange blocks lowered in the next room. Here's the map. Um, again, seven floor, uh, eight floors, actually. It can be kind of intimidating to look at, but uh, it's really, like I said, it, it, I'm surprised at how linear it truly is, and, and I'll, once you go down the, the middle staircase in that first room, it is all linear from that point on. Uh, it couldn't be more straightforward. Uh, let's see, we're going to want to get through there, so we're going to want to hit these, watch out for the spikies. And thus begins a, a very large warping section. No, not quite, no. There, there is a section in here where you just have to warp uh, through those pads, through multiple rooms, and it gives you the illusion that you're getting lost, but you're really not. Uh, maybe a little bit obsc obscure as to... Why did the word obscure just sound weird coming out of my mouth? <laughs> but it may seem a bit obscure to push that block, but... Basically, always take the left warp. As you're going through this, always take the furthest left one. Uh, there's a restock room if you bomb out that wall. Um, just for bombs and arrows, I don't need them. But yeah, always take the left warp, and you'll be fine. You will eventually get through this. It seems like you're doing a lot of warping, but you will make it. And it just kind of, again, it's a linear path. Just kind of follow the path up to here, and then once more, we'll put us back in the 
the top of that room that we were just in, and we can proceed. Um, it feels good to kind of be getting toward the end of this game. Um, I gotta say, it's been an interesting week. Um, I may save a topic that I have uh, for a vlog that I may do after this playthrough. Um, I don't want to kind of bombard it with personal crap, but oh, some things have happened this week, and maybe I'll get it off my chest. So there's an invisible path here that you could use ether to light it up. But like I said, it's kind of bugged in this game. I did not mean to do that. What I was going to do was dash into that pot and get knocked back. I can church, damn it. You can either dash into the pot, knock yourself back, and land on the invisible platform, or you can bomb yourself across. You know, let yourself get hit by a bomb, you'll get knocked back, and you'll land off to the right there. Like that. <clears throat> I mean, the way to do it is use ether, but it just it doesn't work in this version of the game. It, it, it lights up the path briefly, and then it goes away, and I don't understand why. So, fairy, anti-fairy, I want to collect you if you would stop hitting me that'd be great what we're gonna do is bomb out the bottom right of this room and that's gonna lead us to um, something very interesting is that we're gonna have to basically fight the first three bosses of the game all over again throughout the course of this dungeon uh, so here are the Armos Knights now that we've got the upgraded bows and arrows and they're gonna go down in one shot each so it makes this what was the a very easy boss fight even easier. I mean, one shot just annihilates them. You've got to do have a choice here. Uh, make sure you go up first because up here is the big key. And if you go left, you're obviously not going to get it. And then the the chest is kind of right around the corner from here. It's not that far. And um, we will get the dungeon item. The dungeon item for this uh, final dungeon. Oh no! Get in the door. Ice physics. Thank you. Uh, there's a fairy room up here, if you want. Uh, I'm full right now, don't need it, but there it is. The item for this dungeon is the uh, red mail. So the blue mail, when we got it, it reduced the da damage we took by half. The red mail is going to reduce it by another half. So basically, we're only going to be taking 25% damage for the rest of this game. You get it so late in the game, it's kind of, I don't know, almost pointless, but I won't say it's pointless because obviously the, the final fight with Ganon, it's, it, it's very helpful. I would definitely recommend getting it. You could actually probably pass up on the blue mail and just get the red, but we're being completionists here. Um, just arrows and bombs here. I don't know what that lever does. I don't want to find out. I'm not even interested. Uh... Ah, yes, button. We need to use our King of Samaria to create a block to hold that button down, like so. And we can proceed. A uh, bunny thing in here. We don't need it. Don't have to down the floor tiles. Don't even have to deal with it. This room. Oh my god, this is the only room in the dungeon, thankfully, that has wall masters in it. At least in the route that I'm taking. I'm not showing every room of this place, that's for sure. Close to it, but... So definitely, what I usually do is just clear everyone out, get this block out of the way, and then just get rid of all the enemies. So that hopefully, we have to light those torches. Because again, it is on a timer, so you gotta hurry. And you've gotta get out that door on the bottom, so... Come here. Ow! Wallmaster, go away. Um, I may wait for him one more time just to get rid of them before I start lighting the torches. Yep. Okay, fire rod, and... that one. Again, how much time you have, I'm not sure, but I know you've got to hurry. So, again, I've had this door closed in my face way too many times. Hurry up, get in there. Down, down, down. Thank you. Here, we've got to do some bomb throwing uh, over this wall on the right. Okay, get rid of you first. Oh, it's a rupee, too. Uh, and you've got to be, be kind of precise with it because you've got to get it to blow up near that switch. Like that. That was... Couldn't have planned it better. Magic refill. Can't go wrong there. Now we get to do it again so we can get past the orange blocks. That was no good. I'm like in the exact same spot as I was before. Oh, come on. So close. 
Well, that's... No, let's get it on the conveyor belt. No, let's get it on the conveyor belt. That'll do it, that'll do it. There we go. That took longer than it should have. <laughs> God. Um, in this room is the compass. Uh, this is why we came down the, the right path. The only reason. Uh, you could keep going from here to get to, you know, back up to the, the original first room. There's no point, though. I'm really just going to use the magic mirror and, and get out of here. You know, it means that there's a few rooms I'm not showing off, but it it's literally not much. It's not much at all, and a couple of them I think we already have been through. From here on in, going down this middle path, it is completely linear. Like I said, you don't need anyone to tell you where to go because it's going to be obvious. Um, the ways to open the doors to proceed may not be obvious, but it's a pretty straightforward shot from here on out. This room's kind of annoying, simply because you can kind of get stuck on the tiles as they raise and lower. Um, and then there's you. You are, like, in the worst possible place. Yeah. We need to get you in a better, appropriate location for receiving an arrow to the face. Is what we need to... Oh, God. Okay. You are just in a horrible spot. There we go. Arrow to face received. We're going to want to push that upper left block. That's how we're going to open the door. Let's get you out of the way. I said get you out of the way. There we go. Uh, now it, You could just walk through the spikes, take the hits. Um, I've got full health, and I want to keep it that way if I can. It's not going to last, but... This is kind of annoying. The um, Because of right there, the little blade traps will stop your arrows from finding their mark. Can I get you to come up here? No. I'm forced to do this the difficult way. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. We're going to do the same with the bottom one. Just basically wait for the spike to go to the left, the blade trap, and then there. Not bad at all. I do not like Beamos. The, the mirror shield actually does not save you against the Beamos, which is kind of shitty. What's under these pots? I must know. I must... Okay, there was nothing. I don't know. My curiosity um, will be my downfall. There is the door up to the top right of here. In order to open it, we've got to hit a switch under one of these pots. These guys are kind of hidden a little bit. You can kind of see them, but... They're trying to be all sneaky. Uh, no, I want you... There we all. Did I get all of them? No, I did not get all of them. And the one that was left hits me. Perfect. Is this the cannonball room? This is the cannonball room. Um, I try not to dash across here because... Yeah, you can get knocked off. This is a little tricky. There is a, uh, some fairies in that behind that wall down there. If I can just... There we go. Luigi, I'm not very good at dash jumping off of uh, such a thin area, but... And I will get my full health back. And there's also a magic refill here, too, so... That's all to the good as well. Um, so we still have uh, Landmolus and Moldorm to fight again. Here's where I just start. I'm just, I just bust out Bombos. You're gonna be put into rooms with conveyor belts and ice and enemies and bemos and you're better off I mean, for me i just bombos the crap out of them gets rid of all of them i um, mean i'll try not to abuse it i should use it with these stupid stalfos but i'm gonna try not to be a, a total wuss about this if i can at all help it anyway 974 rupees. Oh, 979. Anything under all these? No. Um, you all get blown up. That is the thing that's happening. Again, the conveyor belts and all. It's just a pain. Of course, I'm going to check all these pots because I'm curious. And there's just bombs that I don't need. A little bit of magic. That's good, I guess. And, well, see, well, why would I try to cut through the middle? That was just stupid. That was just stupid. Now we're going to get some ice physics. 
Bumbos for you all. That's what you all get. We are, we're in endgame uh, territory here, and we're not playing around anymore. We're just Whenever I reach this point of the game, I'm, I really do start to get, like, uh, a, a bit hurried. It's, it's like you, just, you have that urgency of you're so close. So close to being done. Um, funny thing, you can actually run through them like that. That's something I probably didn't mention earlier. Um... Boss fight's a little bit different here. There's that thing shooting fireballs from the bottom, but um, no big deal because just like that, uh, each of these guys goes out with like two hits from the golden sword, so <clears throat> it's not really a concern, even though I am losing health. Good lord. You, okay, one more. One more pass. There you go. Even Moldorm, you're going to find, is, is a complete pushover with the Golden Sword. A little magic refill, a little heart refill. We're in good shape. I'm, I'm not concerned here at all. This, okay. We've got Wiz Robes, and we have an invisible pathway. Um, typically, Ether would be the way to go, because it'll kill them and light up the pathway, but as you can see, it does not, in this version of the game, for whatever reason, does not light up the path, and I don't know why the Virtual Console version of that is flawed. I should only have to do it once more, I think. Actually, no, I think I, I was thinking of here. I just use Ether to kill the Wiz Robes. I don't think we need to light up any more paths. This floor will crumble out from under you, so hurry up. Oh my god. Get across quickly, thank you. You are bullies, and you will therefore pay the price for being a bully. This room, uh, well, kind of a pain in the ass, really. You've got to clear the pots out of the way of the torches while avoiding the fire bar so that you can light them all. And then, of course, it's, as always, on a timer. So you've got to hurry down to the door. So what I usually do is I get this out of the way, get all these out of the way so that nothing is stopping me from making a run for that door. And we're going to fire rod it up. I'll wait for that to go by. Okay. That. And two, three, and four. And let's get our butts down there quickly. Without falling. That'd be great. Um, there's eye lasers in here. Be careful. There's a magic refill. And we will deflect everything you have to offer. And get down here very quickly. We've got to light these torches. The floor is going to crumble. So there's that. And that. Oh, did it? No, 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 no. I'm gonna reset the room. That did not go well at all. Yeah, the fire do from the fire rod doesn't go through those sparky guys. That's much better. Uh, there's a key, obviously, in this room because there's a locked door. I want that rupee. And there you go, maxed out rupees. And some more bombs that we don't need. And some more bombs that we don't need. Um, under the pot. Uh, more bombs that we don't need. Okay. Speaking of bombs, we need them to blow up this wall down here. Just let the conveyor belt do your dirty work for you. And ow. That, well, okay. Uh, there's a key in the chest in the center of this room. See if we can't get to it. I really am just talking about the game today. I'm just like, <laughs> usually I go off on some tangent or something. I really am just totally like focused on the game right now. I mean, basically, the only thing I would have to talk about is that somebody actually broke into my car the other night, and, and you know, I don't have anything of value in there, so nothing was stolen, nothing was damaged. But it's it's just the idea that that some spineless piece of shit went through my car actually had the gall to go into it. They like opened up my glove box and went through everything and dumped it, and whatever. I'll talk about it later. This is Maltorm. Um, it's only going to take two hits uh, with the Golden Sword to annihilate someone who was very, very annoying to us at one point. And now he is nothing. It's going to make a treasure chest appear down below that we can hook shot over to. It's going to have rupees in it that we no longer need because we are maxed out take them anyway. Why do I take them anyway? 
we're gonna sneak through here we're pretty close now so that's it that's all three of the um, mini boss refights and if we just head straight up here I think that's gonna be it yeah here we are it is boss time let's go teach Ganon a lesson he will never forget oh it's not Ganon it's Aghanim again he's happy to see us you better believe they will not have a third meeting no no we will not we will not have a third meeting at all um, the fight is exactly the same as before, only this time. Uh, the only difference is that, as you can see, he's got two little clones. Um, but the one, as he teleports around, you can see he's got like a darker circle underneath him. You know, bottom left right there, now moving up to, to the top left. That's the only one that you want to hit. Depending on how these guys form, you can actually... You can get multiple hits on him in, in one go. But I'm just failing at everything. I wouldn't say I'm failing. I, I, the the layout just the yeah, the layout's not good. They're not appearing in uh, very appropriate locations. I've, I have lost count of how many times I've hit them already. I don't know. Oh, that well, that was my now that one was my fault. Um, I don't mean to cliffhang, but I think that after this, I can't imagine putting the final fight with Ganon and the credits and everything all into one video. This is otherwise it's gonna be way too long. So um, there goes Aghanim. He's dead. Ganon kind of appears out of his body like he was possessing him basically, and uh, he's gonna take off in bat form. And that's it. All that's left is the final battle of the game, folks, with Ganon. We're going to do that next time. He's going to come crashing through the top of the pyramid, and we're going to go in after him next time. Hate to cliffhang, but that's the way it is. Sorry. Uh, everyone take it easy. Have a good day. I'll see you for the finale of A Link to the Past. Bye.